happy, what day is it? Wednesday. Happy Wednesday. Hey mom, hey Jory. Hey Jordan. Hey guys. <laughs> you guys are all so early today. Uh, hey Aunt Angela. Thanks for joining. So I have a super fun video today for you guys. Um, hey. Okay. I got some things to talk about. And we're going to start off with merchandise. It is Wednesday, my dudes. It is. Oops. If I miss your comment, I'm so sorry. I'll read back through. Um, just bear with me. But yeah, I'm excited, guys. I'm drinking a Coca-Cola. Um, this is a koozie. And we have our logo on this side and look at this side can you guys read this let me see let me see if I can bring it closer I don't think it's mirrored no it's not mirrored where's the jute come on guys isn't that so funny that cracked me up how fun is that that's gonna be in the shop and um the I'm gonna have some decals in the shop as well. And then the last thing is the t-shirt. Blue with white vinyl. I may have the gray option. It is a nicer t-shirt, so it is gonna be a little bit more expensive. That's awesomely hilarious. Isn't that so funny? I'm dying. It's a great idea. Kudos to um, Jordan for giving me the idea and mom for saying jute all the time. <laughs> but yeah, so I'm going to have um, two options for the t-shirt. The first one's going to be just with the small logo. And then the second option is going to be the small logo and the large logo. Yeah, super excited for these. So um, these prices and these items are going to be in our shop. I'm hoping to have the website up by Saturday. Buy, sip, and paint. Super excited. Uh, just a few days away. The shirts, I think, are going to be, for the one small logo, 15 And then if you want the double-sided, it's going to be 30 That includes shipping. And then the koozies, I'm thinking 10 for the one side, 15 for the double-sided. But... I'll list all that later. Um, hopefully Saturday um, I'll have the website up and running for you guys. So you can check that out. Um, but yeah, that's all my merch. Hope you guys like that. I'm excited for it. Um, so I have some fun things in store. I am going to craft tonight. This isn't going to be just an informational video. Um, so yeah, today we're going to talk about the regular Mod Podges. So we got the glossy, which is the orange label, and we got the matte, which is the yellow label. Super excited for this. The first thing, I think I might start with the tedious one first, so it dries. No, let's start with the fun one. We'll start with the fun one. I mean, the tedious one is fun too, but we'll start with this one. So, what you need is just a few ingredients, not ingredients, but a few things. Uh, a few items. You need a glass, clean, um, dish soap, doesn't matter what brand. I'm going to use the matte Mod Podge today with, with this craft. And you need a stirrer and cup and um, food coloring. So unfortunately I have red and green. Christmas and some pastels. So I'm hoping these pastels work out. We'll see how these work. If not, then we know it doesn't work, but it's going to work. I know it is. Let's get started. So I'm going to pour a little bit of the mat into this cup. Thanks for the likes. Thanks for the likes. I'm going to pour a little bit of this in here. Actually, a decent amount because this is a nice sized glass. Okay. Do, do, do. Yeah, just a little bit there. Then I'm going to put a dab of dish soap. This is going to help. It, it, it's helpful with like the frost 
for some reason. Um, because we are going to be making, you just need a little dab of that. Not a ton. Love that optimism. <laughs> yeah. This is going to work. We're going to do this. Um, we're going to be making sea glass, the sea glass effect on this regular clear glass. I'm excited. I love sea glass. I love beach glass. And you can either do it for yourself. Okay, so I didn't tell you. This is uh, blue food coloring. I'm pouring this in now. I want it to be more blue than green. So I am going to put more blue than green. Um, this is running out. Hopefully I'll have enough. Okay. I should have been more prepared. I thought I had this here because I like to decorate my cupcakes and things like that. But, um... Apparently I'm running low. Okay. So, I don't know if you guys can see that. We're going to mix it up with our little, this is a little wooden dowel. Um, I picked up a pack of these at Dollar Tree for a dollar. I think there was like 15 or something in them. Um, I'm just going to mix it around really well. Where's the jute? Oh my gosh, that's so funny. Um, this glass I also got from Dollar Tree. Love the merchandise. Thanks, me too. I'm super happy with it. Okay. Alright, so that's what it's going to look like. Sorry, my nose itches. Can you guys see that? Maybe if I turn it. So, super pretty. I might add a touch more green to it, though. Because it looks too blue. I don't want it to look like... Um, you know, like that old fashioned, just like really blue glass. I want it to look like sea glass. It's gonna be super fun. So you can do this like for yourself. I'm probably gonna just do this for myself instead of giving it as a gift. But I mean, you could add some jute to it and put some like fun things in it and wrap it up as a gift. Okay, so yeah, that's the color I want. Pretty excited for that. So, all you do, you need your foam brush. Foam brushes are the best thing for Mod Podge. Um, they do have other brushes that you can buy at the store that are specifically for Mod Podge, but you don't really need them. You can get a pack of these for super cheap. So that's what I'm going to use. So, I'm going to just paint this mixture onto this glass. I'm just going to paint it on. Uh, if you have streaks, you're going to have streaks. That's totally fine. Uh, when it dries, you'll still see the streaking, but um, that helps with the whole sea glass effect. So you could have done other colors besides the, the blue and the green that I did. Um, I always want to call it Mod Podge. Me too! I literally kept calling it Mod Podge, and then Jory corrected me. I had no idea. I don't think I ever knew that it, would mo it was Mod Podge. You have to, like, think about it before you say it with the Mod Podge, you know? Jory, tell me. Do you say Mod Podge, or do you say Mod Podge? Be, be honest. I want to know. I want to know. So, what was I saying? Oh yeah, you can use different colors besides the blue and the green. I just want the sea glass effect, so that's why I'm doing these colors. But you can do uh, red or pink or yellow. Um, the way that I paint this also is I just put my, my hand inside the glass so I don't get Mod Podge. I do say Mod Podge, but you were right. It does require some thought. Yeah. Crazy. Maji Podgy. Oh no. I have never. I've never called it that. <laughs> um, yeah, I just put my hand in here to hold the glass so I don't get any fingerprints on it. Things like that. So you're just going to put like a nice layer. I want some more color, but I know the color is going to come out uh, when it dries. So, I'm not super worried about it. 
I'm just going to put a little bit more. You can totally coat this. The thing with this Mod Podge, the matte and the glossy, is it goes on white, but it dries clear. So all that's going to be left of this is going to be the color that is in here. So it's probably won't be this strong just because it is diluted with the Mod Podge. We didn't put a ton of food coloring in. I guess for a more vibrant color, you could put more. But... That's up to you. Do what you want to do. I am almost done with this. I do have some drips on this side. Oh no. That's fine. It gives it that old um, beachy distressed look that's so popular right now. Okay. I evened it out. Okay. How cool is that guys? You're like I don't see anything. Yeah. The color does not show right now. It just looks white. Um, I'm not going to put any more on because I do know that it is going to show the color once it's dry. So, this takes three hours to dry. So, <laughs> I'm going to let that dry, but I did make one earlier. How cool is this? Isn't that so cool? I do have a drippage. This is the first time I did this, but I think it's so cool. I like the matte finish just because um, it's not super in your face. It's not super in your face, like the glossy. You could use a glossy if you wanted a more reflective surface, but I just wanted the matte, so I did the matte. This one is a little bit lighter than that mixture I just did, so I'm hoping that one comes out. Um, maybe a little darker. I can see all the little uh, drops. I'm so sorry you can see that. But how cool is that? I'm excited. That's cool. That's our first craft. Super easy. Super easy. I'm just going to let this sit here so it can dry there. Yeah, done. That's it. Um, don't forget to wash your Mod Podge brushes. I'm not going to do it right now just because I have you guys in front of me. So I am going to put this in this little cup that I have of warm soap and water. More beachy looking. Yeah. Listen, I'm not mad at this. I love this. But I love beach decor, so. Yeah. Super easy. Hope you guys like that. We're going to move on to the second one now. Um, oh, I did want to show you guys the update. This one that I did um, last week where I did the map, I had to let it dry, but then I put Journey on it. I think it's super cute. I don't know what I'm going to do with this yet, but it is super cute. Might frame it. We'll see. We'll see how it goes. So, the next thing I'm going to do is... We don't need the soap anymore. I'm going to use the matte again, which is the yellow label. And you guys remember this candle jar that we cleaned out like two weeks ago? We are going to Mod Podge. Super excited for this one. So, I got two different uh, tissue paper packs. This one's more summery. This one's more like artsy. I don't know if you guys can see that. Um, I think I'm going to do the summer one because it's almost summer. And I think that would be really fun. What do you guys think? Summer? It has popsicles on it. And ice cream cones. And watermelons. And it says good vibes. So I'm going to do this one. Alright, so what we're going to do with this candle jar is make... A candle holder what but like summer themed super excited um what I need to do for this is cut out whatever shape I want um, let me move this first I love watermelon watermelon is fun and it's so pretty it's so bright and it has cherries on it. 
And unicorns. Yeah, we're gonna do this one. We, I mean, we could do both. Yeah. Yeah, we're gonna do this one. Okay, so you can cut this into whatever shape you want. You can do a circle, you can do a square, you can do a triangle, you can do random, confetti. Uh, I think today, I think I'm gonna do squares. Um, yeah, I think I'm gonna do squares. Jory, if you're still watching, this is really similar. I think you made the fall ones with me once where we Mod Podge the leaves onto the glass. I think that was you. It was either you or mom. But yeah, super similar. Actually, it's like the same thing. But it's gonna be so fun. So I am gonna cut this into little squares. I'm not gonna measure it. I'm going to eyeball it. But you don't really need to measure it because you're gonna put it randomly on the glass anyways. So even if you measure it, I mean, you're just gonna put it randomly so it doesn't matter. So I'm gonna put probably about this large. I think it was you, like big sis, little sis. I, I don't know. We were super crafty then. I don't remember. Glad you're still watching, even though you're super sleepy. Um, I'm also going to bring in some of this pink. Because I do need a little pop of something. Don't you think? Yeah. Let's do it. Let's do it. And this is tissue paper, so it is super thin, and I mean, together it looks like really solid, but then once you pull it apart, I mean, it's super thin, so. I'm going to add some color. Yes, the coasters. I wanted to do that tonight, but... I didn't have any tiles, and I didn't want to go buy some tiles, so. Here we are. <laughs> Maybe if I get bored in a future video, I might do it. I might go out and buy a tile. I mean, they're not too expensive. I think they're, like, under a dollar at Lowe's or something. Ah, okay. Super fun. So, now we're going to put on this. What I'm going to do first is Mod Podge. I think I'm going to pour this out into something. It's going to be easier, I think, to use than to just put in the brush into that. Um, I'm just going to put it on one of these. 30 cent. Yeah. Less than a dollar. Yeah, okay, that's what I thought. Mod Podge. I'm using the matte one again. Just because I I um don't want this. I just don't want it to be glossy on the outside. If you wanted the glossy look, use the glossy one. I don't want that look, so I'm not going to use that. Okay. So, oh, they're two different sizes. I'll just use this one. So, I'm just going to put some Mod Podge. I'm just going to do a little area at a time. Because I don't want it to dry before I put all these things on. So, then I'm just going to put this on. Just randomly like this. That's all I'm going to do. Um, you could... Mod Podge each one, like stick each one into the Mod Podge, but that gets a little tricky because these are so thin that once you stick that in there, it is going to like shrivel up, all that jazz. I don't really recommend it. So if you want to put more on top of this though, you do need to add a little a little dab of Mod Podge so that it, it, it will adhere. Um, 
yeah so I'm just gonna do this then once you do all this then you add another layer on top I need more of an area um, I didn't do enough Mod Podge there I'm gonna redo that I'll just do it I'll go back through and see where I missed you guys are gonna start saving your candle jars after this aren't you that's so cool you can totally just reuse them repurpose them If you get it on your hand, it doesn't matter. It is glue, but it's non-toxic, so it won't hurt you. Don't eat it, though. Don't eat it, though. More like start buying more so I can save them. Yeah, I am running low. I bought a ton at Christmas time when they were having all the deals. All the sales. Um... But I'm running low. Goodness. This is looking crazy right now. But just remember, the Mod Podge goes on white and then dries clear. Um, you know what? I'm going to just use a lot of these. Because they're all different. Yeah. I'm just going to go crazy with these. Just be artsy about it. So Mod Podge is a glue, it's an adhesive, and it's also a sealer. So that's it. If you guys have any questions about it, it's pretty self-explanatory once you actually know what it is. Um, I had to explain it to a lady I work with. I told her that I was gonna do a mod, some Mod Podge crafts tonight, and um, she didn't know what it was. So I had to explain it to her. It's so crazy. Like a lot of people don't know, don't know what Mod Podge is. So yeah, so I'm doing this to inform everyone on what it is. So what you could have done instead of doing all these little little squares is if you wanted this whole like design, you could have just done the whole design in one sweep, but that's not the look that I was going for. I want the kind of choppy, artsy, kind of pieced together look randomly, if that makes sense. I'm trying to go faster for you guys. I'm halfway there though. I'm not doing too bad. Is anyone crafting tonight? Or has any fun crafting projects coming up? Um, have you guys gotten your supplies for sip and paint? I'm so excited. I am gonna do a post after your diamond dotting. Yes, I need to do that. I have some diamond dots I gotta be doing. Um, what was I saying? Oh yeah, I am gonna do a post after the sip and paint so that everyone can post their paintings. Because I want to see everyone's painting. What's glass etching? What do you mean? Oh, you're doing glass etching right now. I was like, no, I'm not going to do any glass etching with this. Sorry. It's been a long day. It's Wednesday. It's hump day. You guys know. So it's okay that some of this, like, flips up a little bit because um, we're going to go over it with Mod Podge at the end to kind of seal it all in. Because it's a sealer. So. It's totally fine. Do, do, do. 
So this would be a really cute gift, like a handmade gift um, that you could give someone. This still has the smell of the candle that was in here before, which is kind of funny. So I think I am going to put like a, I don't know, if I should put a non-scented candle in here, if that would be cool. Like if you'll get the smell of the old candle. I did wash it with soap and water, but you still have still have a little bit of that smell um, in here. So you can seal as you go, like that's fine to do too. Mod Podge takes a while to dry. The least amount of time it takes to dry is about 20 minutes, I would say. Um, so that'll be perfect because this will dry once I'm doing. Um, she did. That's so cool. Um, this will dry when I'm doing the other two crafts that I have. They're quick. Super easy and super fun. I didn't know which Mod Podge. Mod Podge to start with and then I was like oh I should definitely start with the original because it's the original that makes the most sense oh my gosh it is getting a little sticky my hand oh no So the thing with tissue paper is it is super thin. So I just kind of creased it a little bit there. Look, I'm just gonna take this one off. I'm gonna redo it. And you can take it off like when the Mod Podge is still wet, but But when it's dry, you're not really going to be able to do that. Alright, we made it all the way around. I am going to go back through and fill in some things. Because I did leave some gaps. Just so I could go do this, go back and do some layers. Um, to fill in the... I can't talk and do this, guys. <laughs> Are you laughing at me? How's this looking? Can you guys see it? I don't know if that's giving off a glare or not to you guys. <gasps> Can be messy, but it just comes with the territory. Oh, Jordan's comment. Did I miss it? No, I think I laughed at it too. I don't know. Now I'm just going back through and I'm sealing it. That's what I'm doing right now. And then if I see areas um, that need a little bit more paper, then I'm putting it on. I want like a ice cream. No, I want the watermelon. Yeah. Whew, it's getting kind of heavy. Okay. Just 
so I'm just almost done sealing it. Uh, it's okay if a little bit of showing, like that doesn't have paper on it because it is a candle holder. So you're gonna put a candle in it so that light is going to shine through. It'll shine through anyways because of the tissue paper being so thin, but um, I dropped off that glass. Um, but you want to, you know, cover most of it with the, with the pattern. So I'm going to add one more here. I think I want to add some ink. Um, I definitely cut up more papers than I needed, but what are you going to do? might give this as a gift. I think I might do that. You can like tie a ribbon around it and it'd be super cute. Oh gosh. Okay. Alright. So I'm gonna finish doing this real quick and then I'm going to set it down and let it dry. It does need about 15 or so minutes. So that should be nearing the end of this video by that time. So that'd be perfect, perfect timing. All right, yeah, pretty happy with that. It's really artsy, I don't know if you guys can see that. I'm excited. Um, I could do a, uh, a vinyl decal on the front of it too, like once it's dried. Um, that's nice, you could do like a monogram. Super cute, super cute. We'll see how this turns out. That one is turning out way better than my first one also. Okay, so I am just gonna set this down on top of the lid. That's cute, thanks! I'm, I, I like it, I like it. I'm gonna move some of this stuff around. Here's another brush. Um, I might keep this one out actually because I'm going to use, am I going to use the same? Yeah, I'm just going to keep it out because it doesn't have the color on it, so yeah. Okay, so I'm going to move this one out of the way, hopefully you guys can still see. I do need to get, I have like a small desk right here so I got to make sure Everything is good. Okay, so the next thing we're gonna do is super excited. I am gonna use the glossy one for the next craft. Um, so I'm done with the matte one. Make sure you put the lid on it because it can dry out and once Mod Pod dries out, it's no good. You have to throw it away. Uh, there is such a thing as old Mod Podge. If you have really old Mod Podge, throw it away, it's not good either. Some tips there. Okay, the next one. Get that out of the way. Ooh, okay, the next one is a candle jar with a candle in it. So an actual candle. Um, these are super cute. They're perfect for the craft I'm about to do. Um, basically, you're just gonna decorate the outside with. And I'm going to use paper, and I'm also going to use paint. Um, so this is folk art, true blue enamel paint, and what that means is it you can use it on glass. Um, so it does have a little wine glass sticker on the top, just in case you forget what enamel means. They do give you that little sticker, which is nice. So I'm just going to use this little palette that I have right here, actually. I'm gonna shake it up a little bit. And then, I don't need a ton of this because I'm only going to paint like this much of the glass. So I'm gonna turn it upside down because I'm not gonna paint this area. 
and I'm just gonna do this. I am obsessed with this color. So cute, right? You can do whatever color you want. I just love blue. So in case I don't want to give this as a gift to anyone, I can keep it for myself. And I like it because I like the color blue. Um, yeah. So I'm just going to do this. It's okay if it goes not straight because you're going to cover that up with the paper. You do want it to go all the way to the bottom though. Not, don't paint the bottom, but like down to the, the bottom line, if that makes sense. Um, be careful you don't put your fingers in it like I just did. You don't want any fingerprints in here. I think that's going to be... Gonna be about it. I'm gonna do the paper to like right here, so I shouldn't have gone that high up, but it doesn't matter because it's gonna get covered. So that's that. So because of time, uh, we're not gonna sit here and watch paint dry because that would be really bad of me to do for, for you guys. <laughs> um, so I did already do this right here. This one is dry. So this one I'm going to let dry. Um, but this one's fully dry. Right there. So we can keep moving forward. This took about, I want to say about 30 minutes to fully dry this paint. So I'm getting this Mod Podge off my fingers because um, I have it all over it but I think it took about 20 or 30 minutes for this to dry fully so yeah all right so now what we're gonna do I'm gonna use this paper little flowers I think it'll look great with this blue what do you guys think I think it's super cute I think I'm gonna give this one as a gift too I'm not a big floral person but I know some people who are so If not, I'll just keep it because it's a candle, but if not, okay, so what I'm going to do is see where I want this paper to go on the candle, um, and you want to make sure it covers the blue paint that you painted. So, I think that's going to be good here, so I'm just going to mark this. I just want it to go, so this glass kind of divots at the top, so I'm going to stop it a little bit before that, but that'll be alright because I have some jute I want to put on it. Excited for that. Okay, so I'm going to get out my cutter. I'm not going to eyeball this one just because it's going to be really noticeable if you hand cut this and it's not straight. Um, that'll mess with my OCD, so I'm going to take out my cutter and cut this. So, I'm just going to look and see where my pencil line is. Well, did I just lose? Oh, okay. There's so many lines in here, I lost my pencil line. Perfect. Um, get the rest of that there. We are going to use that later. Actually, I might just cut this. Yeah, you don't need all of this. So there is going to be some overlapping, which is fine. It's going to be super cute. Yeah, I'm going to cut off this much. Okay, save this. We're going to use this at the end. Okay, there you go. Cut my rectangle that I need to cover the full um, circumference of this glass. So, I am going to get newspaper out just because I don't want to Mod Podge, Mod Podge 
my desk. So I'm going to get this newspaper out. Okay, so I'm going to, I'm trying to think if I should Mod Podge the glass first, or if I should Mod Podge, yeah, I'm going to Mod Podge the glass. Um, I'm going to use the glossy. Yeah, I'm going to use the glossy for this one. Glossy is the orange label, if you guys forgot. It does say glossy on it too, but um, I'm just gonna pour a little bit out onto here. Make sure there's no dirt or dust or anything like that in the area that you're pouring this in, um, because you don't want that to get onto your glass, because that'll be bumpy and it won't be fun. New foam brush, and we're just gonna do this like we did earlier. I'm just going to go really fast with it just so I have time to put the paper on it um, before it dries. These are just a few different ways that you can use this, but you can also do this for um, like larger areas. You want to make collages with different papers, you can definitely do that. Similar to what we did there. Um, you can do this not just on glass. I just decided to make this glass today. Um, except for my last craft is not glass. But you can use this on other mediums as well. Since this is the original, it can be used on all the different ones. Glass, wood. You can adhere fabric to glass with that one. Yeah, so this dries clear. So I am getting it a little bit up here, but that's just because I want to make sure that the paper is fully adhered. So, all right, that looks good. All I'm gonna do is I'm gonna roll it on the paper. Did I do too much? So this is scrapbook paper. So it is a little off. I'm gonna. Uh, I just eyeball that. Um, there is a little bit of a seam in it. I don't know if I really care that much about that. But look at that. Oh gosh. So cute. So it's not adhered yet, um, just because it does have to dry. It does overlap here a little bit, so I am going to put some Mod Podge here so that it can adhere to the other paper. Wherever it overlaps, that's what you want to do. What do you guys think? You think it's super cute? stinking cute that is yeah. super cute I am gonna put some jute on it I wonder if I should wait for it to dry but it's okay it'll help the jute stay on it um, I got this little one there's not a ton on here but it is colored jute I got this from Dollar Tree and it does have a color to it. So you can see it's like that pink. So there is a little bit of pink flowers in this in case you can't see. So it is gonna look super cute. Um, do this. Another thing that you can do. Thanks, Aunt Angela. Thanks, Jory. Uh, another thing that you can do to help. Is that with this one? No, it's with that one. Uh, with this first one, I forgot to say. 
this can wash off uh, over time. So what you want to do is add a layer of varnish on top of it. So they do make liquid varnish and they do make spray varnish. I've heard that the spray varnish is way better than the um, than the liquid one. Just because the liquid does take off some of that Mod Podge, so you don't really want that because then all your color comes off basically. So, um, I think the name is Krylon. I can look that up and let you guys know, but Krylon Matte Varnish. Uh, I tried to pick some up today, but I couldn't find any. They don't sell that at the Dollar Tree. That's the only store I went to today. I do apologize, but um, I'll probably pick it up in the near future and do it just so that color stays, if I like the color. If I don't like the color, then I'm just going to wash that off and I'm going to redo it, do it a different color, maybe, I don't know if I'll still do the sea glass if I don't like it. Um, yeah, okay, so I'm adding jute right now. What I'm going to do before I tie this, Walmart has it, okay. I don't know how much it is. It does come in a pan, a can, like uh, spray paint does. Uh, I'm sure it's probably like 5 or $7. Um, Alright, so going back to this little guy. What would be super cute is if you wrote something on it. Actually... So, I wrote, Happy Mother's Day! Because why not? It's coming up. Mom, I know that you can make this, so I'm not going to give this to you. And you're watching this video. So, what you can do is get out the nifty hole punch that I bought the other day. Put a little hole right here. And then stirring it through. What? That's cute, right? Super cute. All right, let me tie a bow. Or you can just leave it like this. You don't have to do a bow. I think I'm going to do a little bow, though. Oops. So like this. Okay. Bo's not cooperating with me today. Come on. Sometimes you have to twist it just so that it gets in the right place that you want it. You're being pain today. You guys know that's a bow. This jute is not playing with me today. Okay, well, I'm not gonna mess with it, but isn't that super cute? You gotta say whatever you want. That didn't take very long. A dollar candle that you just upgraded. Done. You can have it lower if you want. Whatever. You can do whatever. Write their name on the side here. That would be super cute. Super fun. What do you guys think? You like it? You like it? You like it? Okay. Perfect. Let's try it. Not quite, not quite. Okay. I have one more craft for you guys. It's an easy one. It's a quick one. It is putting a picture on a canvas. Okay, let me give you the 411 on this. So you guys, if you've been following, you know that mom tried to put 
uh, transfer an image onto, I think, a piece of wood. And she was using this. Well, there is photo Mod Podge that you have to use if you want to transfer an image to something. If you just want to put a picture, an actual glossy printed out picture onto a canvas or a piece of wood, I'll have to try it with wood, but I'm sure a piece of wood also, you want to use the orange label. <laughs> Twice it was bad. Here's the reason. The orange label goes on white and it dries clear. That is super helpful for when you're wanting to just see the image on a canvas. Clearly. The, I have it right here. The photo transfer medium Mod Podge, it goes on white and it dries white. So that is going to act as the base of your photo, which makes transferring it the correct way. So I'm going to do this, I might do this Friday night. I am going to do another Mod Podge on Friday. I just don't know what it is yet. It'll probably be this one, just so I can show you guys. I don't know. What do you guys think? You want to see that in action? Yeah. That's the main difference between these two. So, we're not going to use this one today. We are going to use the orange label. So, I already have some in here. I am going to... What am I going to do? I'm going to Mod Podge the canvas just in the area that I want. You can Mod Podge the whole thing, actually. Let's Mod Podge the whole thing. Uh, you just have to have a decent amount on here, just so it covers. I'm using the glossy. You can also use the matte, but I'm using the glossy just because I want the glossiness like a regular picture has. Uh, I wish I had a bigger picture or smaller canvas just so I can do like fill the whole canvas, but it's fine. It's whatever. All right. So then I'm going to lay this down. That's not straight at all. All right. So that's actually moving a little bit. What I'm going to do is I'm going to Mod Pod, Mod Podge the back of this photo also because it wasn't really sticking there, which is weird. Okay. All right, so I Mod Podge the back of the photo as well. I think this is gonna work better. want to make sure it's flat. Look at that. Not falling off. You guys see that? Not falling off. It is stuck on there. So, what you're going to do after you do this is you're going to Mod Podge on top of this to seal it in. So, this application is to glue it or adhere it to the canvas and then we're going to Mod Podge on top of it to seal it in. Give it a nice seal. Doo, doo, doo. You could have painted the canvas first if you wanted to. I didn't want to do that um, because now I can just do designs around this. Um, you do want to go in the same direction. See it's not moving? You may see the white lines on it as you're applying the Mod Podge, but those white lines are not going to stay on this. This is my dog, by the way. There you go. You guys see that? You can see the white lines. So you have to let this dry for, like I said earlier, roughly 20 minutes or so, so this can fully dry. And then, once it's fully dry, it'll look like this, fully dry. 
super cute. It does have that glossy effect to it. The picture's not going anywhere. It's not going anywhere. How fun is that? This looks like a frame. You can decorate it, embellish it, do whatever you want with it. But that is with the glossy original Mod Podge on an actual photo. We're not, we didn't transfer this or anything like that. Um, we literally just put that photo on top of the canvas. What? So easy, right? So easy. That was it. That's it. Right there. Um, yeah. So I'm going to let that dry. So going back to this one. This one's dry. Um, so I am going to put a candle on this just because I want to see how it goes. Um, I wonder if I can... If you guys can see that. Let me turn off this light for you guys. What? How cool is that? I love it. I don't know if you guys can see it. Oh. Super fun. I don't know if you guys can see that, but that's exciting. Um, obviously use a bigger candle or what you could do with this is do a floating candle. So put water in it, put a floating candle in it up to the top and that would be super cute for parties and things like that. Um, yeah, that'd be super fun. There you go. That's that. So, tonight we made sea glass. Super fun. We made can repurposed a candle holder. Mod Podge, some tissue paper on it. Super fun. Um, what else did we do? We did this canvas and we did this cute candle holder. Or not candle holder, but candle as a gift. What do you guys think? That was super fun, right? That's all I have for you guys. Those are my four projects tonight. Um, I'm trying to think what else I can say. If you have any other questions about these, let me know. They're pretty basic. Um, I am going to do future videos with some of the other ones I have. The fabric one, the outdoor one, the hard surface one. I do want to find the glitter one. Love it. You did amazing. Thank you. Thank you. Um, the photo transfer one. I might do that one Friday. I don't know yet. Stay tuned for that. And then, um, not many materials required. Yeah, definitely. I really didn't use a lot. It looks like I used a lot, but I really didn't. Yeah. Thank you for saying that, Dory. Um, but yeah, that's my Mod Podge. Original, matte and glossy. A few projects there. Um, look out for the website. Hopefully launching by Saturday. Saturday is a sipping, sipping paint. And it's at 5 o'clock. Tune in live. I'll be showing you how to paint Moonlit Sky, I believe is the one that we decided on. Um, I'll go ahead and repost that just so you guys have that for future reference um, in case you forget what time or whatever. You found the glitter one on Joanne's website. Thanks. I want to like have it in person. I'm going to wait for it to come in. Um... I wonder if Walmart has it. Walmart might have it. I'll have to check there. I don't know. I'll find it eventually. Um, what was I saying? Oh, yeah. Uh, I believe Mom's coming on live tomorrow. I don't know what she's doing, so definitely tune in for that. Um, maybe we'll post it in the morning. Not really sure. I don't really know what she has going on there. So, yeah. Hopefully you guys liked all my crafts. And that's all I have for you tonight. So, um, I haven't been able... Yeah. So, yeah. That's all I have for you tonight. Thank you guys for tuning in for my whole video. I hope it was super fun. It was super fun for me. Um, look out for our merchandise. And yeah, that's all I got. Happy crafting, guys. I'll see you later.